Hey, what's going on guys? Austin here and welcome to day three of the Trailblazer League series. Uh, at the moment I'm just sort of smacking some uh, baby green dragons, grabbing some baby dragon bones so I can get 43 prayer before I start my uh, Slayer grind. Um, today, I'm pretty much just going to be doing Slayer. Um, I have a couple of other things planned, uh, but you're probably just going to have to wait and see what they are because I'm not 100% sure on them yet. Um, one of them is definitely going to be getting the Artie Cloak because that just means I can, with this, I can teleport to the monastery, recharge my prayer, and just teleport straight back to any tasks that I'm at. So I'll never, never need prayer pots, pretty much. So that's going to be really nice. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say in this intro. So I guess I'll see you in the next clip. Right. So I just wanted to get C slug done so that I can go and get some proper food because. For getting 43 prayer, I'm going to have to kill those dragons, and I don't want to be using wines anymore because it reduces my attack. So I'm just going to go and fish some stuff with my newly found 45 fishing. And here's fishing contest as well. Just wanted to get as much fishing XP as I could before I started fishing, uh, just to make it a little bit quicker to get some food. So yep, there we go. 48 fishing. Okay, and somehow I missed it, but that is 43 prayer, so I now have protect from melee, which is amazing. Uh, that's another 50 points as well. Uh, I think I'm just going to go and get my Artie Cloak 1 done now so that I can have infinite prayer when I uh, want to do some Slayer, which I'll probably do after I get the Artie Cloak. So yeah, that's probably what's going to be coming up next. Right, that is the easy diary done in Ardun. So grab myself a cape. Nice. And bonk this. Actually, I'm going to save this because I want to go and get my stats above 8 so that I can go and get some Herbler XP from Tears of Guthics. Uh, and then I'll use this Antique Lamp, because actually, isn't it just like a, a set amount? Oh, okay, yeah, I need to be level 30. So I'll do that, and then use that lamp on it later. Um, but now that I have this, let me just show you the use for it. So I'll go back to the dragons, and then whilst I... What? Wait, what is this? Oh, I teleported back to the Yeah, okay. So, say I'm at the dragons right now, and I'm out of prayer. I just teleport to the monastery, and go and pray at the altar, and then I teleport back, and full prayer again, and I'm right back to where I was. So, for Slayer, that is going to be insane, because I can just camp, pray melee, um, and when I run out, just come go back to the monastery, and then teleport straight back. So, yeah. Uh, now, I am going to go and do some other stuff. I have forgotten what I was going to do, but I guess you'll see in the next clip. Okay, so I've just taken a look at the uh, Tears of Gothics minigame and the way that it works, and apparently the XP caps out once you hit level 30 in the skill that you're trying to get the XP in. So I'm going to try and get to base 30s, or yeah, base 30s, and have Herblore as my lowest XP still, uh, so that I can get the maximum amount out of the tiers that I get. So I'm just going to get 30 range first, and then probably... Uh, mining and smithing and farming is already going because I have some things planted uh, and yeah pretty much just gonna go from there I just want to show you this because this is pretty hilarious I can literally just sit here click on the Runescence mine and do nothing it'll just continuously bank and because this never depletes I can just sit here forever literally forever click once every five minutes so I'm probably gonna do this for some of my mining XP whilst I'm AFKing uh, because I do have an exam coming up in like a week and a half, so I'm going to need to study for that at some point. I might just sit here and do this. Alright, so now that I've got a bunch of pure essence, or yeah, pure essence, uh, I just wanted to show you the method for doing room crafting that I have. So because I have this relic, I can run here once, uh, use my rune essence, teleport with my raw sea pod, run up to the bank, which takes not very long at all, probably like five seconds so run over here uh, hit the bank bank all these runes obviously grab the rune essence and teleport straight back and that is rune crafting so that is very nice and that is 1000 total very very nice 30 herb lore achieved now I just need to make sure that, that is actually my lowest skill it is looking like it and time to go do some tears of gothics Okay, here we go. Tears of Guthix. Straight to 41 herb lore. And then we can use our lamp that we've been carrying around for the last who knows how long. Chuck that on herb lore. 
an extra 20,000, and that puts us at 45 Herbler, just like that. Fantastic. Right, so I am gonna get my Dig Site Pendant now, and then go and get 49 Magic so that I can enchant the one that I have in the bank. Um, just so that when I do uh, start my Slayer, which I'm gonna hopefully be doing straight after I get this Dig Site Pendant, um, then I can keep doing my birdhouse runs without having to set my teleport crystal at the birdhouse area and it'll just make it a lot easier. That did not take long at all. I got one lamp from putting these things, uh, putting the unwanted things in here and the second inventory I do I get the clean necklace so that is that done. There we go that is elemental workshop 2 done for some crafting xp and that has put me to 52 which is very nice. Uh, I think that was also, oh I'm 47 smithing, wow that's crazy. Um, I think that was a task as well. It's a medium task. That's an extra 50 points. Very, very good. Here is 44 construction. Uh, this used quite a bit of my money, actually all my money. Um, but I need this so that I can make the tool store in my workshop to get a amulet mold so I can make my... This, this whole thing has turned into quite a bit of a grind just to get this goddamn necklace. I still have to do my magic as well, so I've still got quite a ways to go before I can do anything. Okay, just managed to get myself a rune axe drop from Tree Spirits. I was just here training my magic so that I could uh, kill two birds with one stone. Ran out of runes, uh, pretty close to the level. I'm just going to low out the rest of it when I get back to the bank. But rune axe achieved, very good. Okay, so this is everything coming together pretty much that I've been working on for, well, a few hours now. I did not expect it to take this long, uh, but here we go. We have ourselves a dig site pendant five charges which I'm hoping I'll get some more rubies when I start doing Slayer but I'm gonna have to start thinking about what I actually want to do next I know at the start of the episode I said that I was gonna do Slayer but I'm also just thinking about doing some Slayer to get some gear um, or just no Slayer at all and just farming points so I can get my next relic because the next relic will let me choose my Slayer tasks I'm, well, I'm planning on doing unnatural selection because that would just make Slayer so much easier Plus you get the extra four times on top of the eight times um, XP boost, which is going to be awesome. Um, you also get superiors, but I haven't got any points yet, so I can't even unlock superiors. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I might just do some Slayer now because, you know, I've kind of built up to it and I've been looking forward to it a lot because of the attack speed rune, so I'm probably just going to go and do that now. But uh, I'm going to probably end the episode here because... Um, it's getting pretty long now, and I've done quite a lot already, and the Slayer isn't going to really be able to add much to the video. I'm just going to be doing Slayer like normal, uh, and if I get any drops and I'll chuck, or like any, inf any cool stuff, I'll chuck it in the next video. But, uh, other than that, that's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching, as usual. Last episode did it almost as well as the first episode, which is crazy. Um, if you want, chuck a comment, tell me what stuff you're doing, what sort of regions you've chosen what relics you've chosen um and i will catch you tomorrow in the next video see ya